Don't hesitate, just do it. Uh, in all honesty, if you have a passion and you're, it's something you're passionate about and it's something that you believe in, you know, utilize the resources that are around you, do your research, but don't hesitate to jump in and, and try it. I mean, I tell, as a coach, I tell my athletes all the time, you miss every shot you don't take, right? What's going on everybody? Kyle Powers here, Haven Real Estate Group at eXp Realty. Guys, today I have another episode of Local Legends of the Flint Hills where business meets community. I've got Brian Nelson here with Shelter Insurance. Brian, thanks so much for joining me. Absolutely. So, let's uh, let's kind of get into it, man. So um, Brian, I am excited to, to kind of get in here. Kind of tell us your story of you know, we talked off camera 18 years ago, you got into insurance. Uh, tell us what that day looked like for you on starting your insurance business. Yeah, 18 years ago, I started this business. Uh, I was a young lad, 24 <laughs> years old. Um, knew nothing about the insurance business. In fact, I hadn't even bought my own insurance policy before when I took over my agency. Um, but my father-in-law's in, in the insurance business and I saw, um, how he was able, able to provide to his family, right. the freedom, the relationships he was able to build, the community impact that he had in his community, and it motivated me. And I jumped feet first in 18 years ago and I'm still here, so. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Brian, with everything that you guys have on in insurance, right? You do auto, home, uh, life insurance, all that kind of stuff. What is one of the most memorable experiences that you've had and how has that impacted you in your career? Uh, there's the insurance business is about building relationships and there's a couple of things that are very impactful for me um, first and foremost is you know when an insured passes away they have a life insurance policy and i'm able to deliver a death benefit check to the, the surviving spouse sure. it's really impactful to see how that affects their life and and the legacy of their spouse that had just passed um, another instance is um, you know, I had a client that had a house fire. They had a total loss and their family of three or five, three kids. They had nowhere to go. They called me that night. I showed up, talked to them, opened my house to them. They come and they actually lived with me for a week until they were able to find another place to live while their house was rebuilt. So, wow. um, to me, that's what the insurance business is all about is building relationships and, and being there for clients when they need you. Yeah. Yeah. Just being that that shining light in a dark time, I'm sure, is probably one of the one of the most rewarding. Can Absol be one of the most rewarding. And the public misconception is that every insurance agency is is created equal, right? The 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 big online companies, the the people we won't name, uh, but the people you see on the on the big spending and stuff. So, what is the way that you kind of set yourself apart by being local, by being uh, that person for your insurance clients, and how do you set yourself apart from uh, those bigger companies like that? Yeah, I mean, we're always going to battle the online companies, the auto on, auto insurance only companies. Um, the biggest difference is, is that, you know, we have a brick and mortar here in Manhattan. We have an office, we have a location, we have a place for you to come sit down and have a face to face meeting with us. Um, I'm here in the community to support you. Um, big difference between that and having to dial an 800 number when you need service. So um, obviously service is the opportunity for me to set myself apart and, and there's value in service. Um, that goes into play when it comes to they're looking at their insurance rates. I mean, yeah, some of these online companies are going to have better auto insurance rates for than I have at, the, at, at any given time. But what they don't have is somebody that they can call, text, um, stop by, meet face to face, whatever it might be. And that sets us apart. Um, at shelter insurance is that we have the ability to build those relationships and that's what keeps clients with you um, is those relationships that, that you're able to build within your community yeah well and i mean right before we jumped on camera you were talking to us about or talking to me about the uh the guy that left and came back and and he's like i need somebody that i can get a hold of it yeah. doesn't take me hours on end to to yeah. get a hold of somebody to kind of work with your insurance so i think that's probably one of the, the best parts about what you kind of are able to offer here is to, to kind of get that, see the whites of someone's eyes. I think that's important. So Brian, I think a lot of with our local community and with Manhattan, like we've, we've really pushed 
every entrepreneur here in town, every business here in town pushes uh, working local, being local, supporting our local community. What does that look like for you on, on how you uh, are able to give back to the community, give back to the youth in our, in our, in our area, and what does that look like for you in Shelter? Yeah, I, I'm a true believer in giving back to the community. Um, I've, ever since I moved to Manhattan, I've been involved in the soccer community, uh, coaching youth soccer um, for the last 23 years uh, that, that I've been here. Um, I absolutely love it. I'm, it I've built relationships there. I, you know, I've gained clients from it. Um, I have kids that I coached. Uh, several years ago that are now coaching by my side so um, coaching is obviously a passion for me helping kids become not only better athletes but better people um, you know life lessons I mean sports is a very important part of my life um, got involved with the wrestling club as well I'm, I'm currently the president of the Manhattan wrestling club We've got 120 kids that we deal with um, and we're teaching the sport of wrestling um, a lot of life lessons taught in wrestling as well um, so um, I'm always trying to be visible um, build those relationships with not only the families but the kids in the community and then um, I'll, I'm also still heavily involved um, from the alumni side of my fraternity here at K-State Pi Kappa Alpha aka Pike um, I've been the chapter advisor there for 18 years uh, it's a true passion of mine because um, when I was there, I had very impactful alumni that were there to help guide me and mold me as a college kid. And now I have the ability to do that, help, to help these young men uh, manage a million dollar budget, uh, manage you know, crisis situations that they might be in, um, help build their philanthropy. Our Pike this last year raised over $135,000 in philanthropy. Wow. Um, so uh, they have a big impact in our community too, and I get to help them with that as well. So it's, it's a lot of fun. So the exciting world of insurance, Brian, right? Talk to us, walk us through what your typical day is uh, from, from whenever you are juggling kids in the morning, getting them off to school to coming to the office and helping clients with insurance. What does your typical day look like for you here? Yeah, you know, every day is different in the insurance business, I tell you, um, you know, like I said, you never know what's going to walk through the door, what kind of questions you're going to get, what kind of phone calls you're going to get. The biggest thing for me, even throughout the day, is just making sure that I'm available to customers. Um, we're going to get in, we're going to check, uh, I'm going to get onto my computer, I'm going to make sure that all my clients have got their bills paid. The ones that don't, we make sure we drop them a phone call or a text to remind them, hey, pay your bill, um, thank them for their business. Um, we have appointments throughout the day. Uh, that we're quoting new business, we're reviewing people's insurance policies for them. Um, and then we also have to scratch out some time for prospecting too, you know. So whether that's picking up the phone and, and reaching out to people, trying to earn their business or going out in the community, yep. um, going to local businesses, introducing myself and asking for referrals, you know. I mean, it's a constant grind the insurance business is and you always got to continue to find the next client. And so, um, but it's a, it's a fun job. And that's what I love about it, that you never know really what's going to happen on a day-to-day -day basis yeah. and, and you roll with it as it comes. Sure, sure. That's an everyday thing, right? Yep. yep. <laughs> as of recently, right, the last six to eight months or so, the insurance world has kind of been flipped upside down with, with uh, everything kind of changing, the world changing as it is and everything that way. What advice do you have for somebody who's actively looking to maybe change insurance or look at new insurance or whatever that looks like and, and what does that look like for them? Yeah, you know, I, honestly, ever since COVID hit, uh, COVID really changed a lot of things in our world. Um, insurance world was impacted by it as well, right? I mean, the building material costs got inflated extremely high. Some of it started to come back down a little bit. But, you know, for those that currently own a home, I, I honestly recommend sitting down with your agent and reviewing your coverages on your home first and foremost, because at this day and age, at the cost of, of reconstruction is so high right now that a lot of people my fear is are underinsured on their home currently yeah. if they were to have a total loss they might be sad to find out that they don't have enough to rebuild their home the way that they that they, they want to right yeah. so sit down review those um you know review your auto insurance coverages as well um 
you know, liability limits are a big thing on an auto policy. Um, I, I tell clients all the time, I, I can watch Tuttle Creek Boulevard out here all, and watch vehicles drive by. And the number of vehicles that I see drive by that are worth $50,000 or more is, is high, right? Yeah. And a lot of people have $25,000 in property damage or $50,000 in property damage coverage, which is not near enough. If they hit one of those $90,000 Yukons, yeah. they're going to be they're going to come after them personally, right? Because right. they're not going to have enough coverage for it. So really sit down and review those coverages um, with your agent, whoever that might be. Um, if you're looking to buy a house or you're looking to make those switches, find somebody that you're comfortable with. Um, to me, insurance is more than a rate. Um, you know, I personally don't ever want to buy the cheapest thing out there. I don't know a lot of people. Um, people focus on numbers and on the, on the rate, but also focus on the person that's sitting behind the desk, you know, someone that you're comfortable with, right. someone that you trust, someone that you know is going to be there for you. I mean, as an agent, I don't get a lot of times to be able to perform for my clients. Right. Um, you know, at the time of a loss is a great time to be able to perform for a customer. Um, and, and, at a time of need when they need something is the time when I can actually perform. And that's when I, that's what I love about the job. So anybody out there searching, shopping, whatever it might be, find somebody local, find somebody you're comfortable with. That's that, that's going to care about you and take care of you. That's the biggest thing for me. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's going to open their house to them, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, okay. So Brian, for everybody that's kind of out here watching this video, maybe something along that lines, I want to know what type of insurance you guys offer here. Uh, and then how do they get a hold of you? Yeah, we do. We can do any kind of insurance. We're going to do uh, your basic auto home life insurance, business farm insurance. We can do commercials, uh, commercial properties. Um, a really good avenue for us right now is that there's a lot of investment properties in Manhattan yeah. and we have a really good policy that's really competitive for investment properties. Um, we can do Airbnbs too, you know, that's a big thing. So um, we're able to do that. Um, easy, you can call my office anytime to get a hold of me, 785-776-7751. Uh, we have the ability to text from that line too. So uh, a lot of clients would love using that texting feature. Um, I do get those text messages any time of the night, day or night. So uh, if it's important, I will respond right away. Um, uh, they're the two easiest things, text or email to, uh, I guess is uh, B Nelson at shelterinsurance.com or just stop by and see me at 2048 Total Creek Boulevard, uh, Suite B, and we'd love to see and, and talk with you. As you go through and, and, and you build any kind of company, whether it's an insurance company or whether it's just any kind of company, what are some of the challenges that you've, in, uh, what are some of the challenges that you've faced when building a company? As a young agent, it was always a grind and it was always trying to find ways to build relationships, find new clients and, and be creative. You know, creativity yeah. is huge. You got to find a, something to do that, uh, the other guys aren't doing right. Something that tries to set yourself apart and community involvement is a, a great way to do that too, by the way, sure. um, you know, through coaching, through working with kids or whatever it might be uh, is a great way to set yourself apart. But um, love being an entrepreneur, love being, uh, you know, a business owner in town, love being self-employed. Um, it has a lot of perks and, and we sure enjoy it. Yeah. No, that's, that's one of the things there that I think is probably, Nobody actually understands before they get into business how much work it actually is going to take mm -hmm. to grow it and to become whatever you want it to be, right? Yep. So, okay, before we wrap it up here, I've got one last question. So, what advice do you have for anybody, whether it's a new insurance agent or new person looking to start a business or just in general to maybe young adults or anything that way? Uh, but what advice do you have for them uh, looking to get into entrepreneurship? Don't hesitate, just do it. Uh, in all honesty, if you have a passion and you're, it's something you're passionate about and it's something that you believe in, you know, utilize the resources that are around you, do your research, but don't hesitate to jump in and, and try it. I mean, I tell, as a coach, I tell my athletes all the time, you miss every shot you don't take, right? And so if there's something that you're passionate about, something that you really feel could impact our community, impact your livelihood and, and provide for your family, don't hesitate, jump in and do it. And, yeah. but don't be afraid to ask for help too. You know, you, the, having help is a big part of it too. People that are going to help, uh, help push you, help motivate you. Um, it's, uh, but don't hesitate, do it. Just yeah. do it. 
I love it. I love it. So, well, guys, thank you so much for watching this uh, this video today. I really do appreciate it. Brian, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, as always, it's been a pleasure talking with you today. Um, and for anybody that's new to the channel or new to everything there, if you do enjoy this content, please go and hit that subscribe button. Go and hit that little bell so you get notified of any future content. And again, go ahead and share this video with anybody that you may know that's looking for anything, right? Well, if they're looking for maybe some advice on entrepreneurship or maybe if there's somebody out there that is thinking, man, I think I need to start looking at maybe some different insurance or some different things with that home, auto, and life. I know Brian will be here to take care of you and make sure that you are taken care of. So please share this video with them. Let Brian kind of let them introduce them to Brian via video right off the gate there. Yeah. Um, but again, thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you have any questions or anything, please reach out to Brian. Love to get you guys connected with him. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next week for Local Legends of the Flint Hills. Thank you.